Hey guys, Angram here and welcome back to Life is Strange, episode oh, one, shit. Chrysalis. Whoa! Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Damn. Let's just do dude. Rewind. Yeah, you better rewind. What are we gonna do? I don't like our chances with trying to disrupt him. Let's see if we can get her to move. Will that work? Poor Alyssa. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Okay. Let's kind of, um, you know, move ourselves over here and boom. Can see the ball there. Faster. Yo! Okay. Alyssa! Alyssa move your head. If you insist, Max. Whoa! Got it. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, and in the process got yourself a, a reputation as somebody who teleports and um, is psychic. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're so cured. That was close. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. Look. Now Alyssa can savor her bad novel in peace. Yay! All right. All right. Let's let's keep moving along. Moving right along. Um. Yeah. This seems to be self-contained, so I'm betting the uh, parking lot's out here somewhere. So, let's go to the main campus. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Whoa, Do you whoa. understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, let's take a for posterity. Make sure that, you know, the great big bully doesn't... Uh, doesn't get away with this. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. She's got to pick sides. What's going on here? What is going on? Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. What? Man, all right, I all right. Have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. Well, it was. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah, let's rewind. Let's save Kate. Boom. Let's go. Try again. Okay, let's intervene at this time. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse yeah. us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying hey, them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. Yeah, she said I'm the doing keyword. My job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Is this like a telltale game or something? Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Okay. You know what? I it's kind of like... everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. You'll cope. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh, you're always changing your mind and persuading us to do something different. We're going to stick with that, because you're a goody two-shoes this time around. You want to play you again as a dickhead yourself, <laughs> but not this time. Alrighty. So, basically, this, this, you know what? Let's just kind of recap. We have arrived at this Shishi school, um, where, you know what? It's kind of like things are not <laughs> what they seem. I'm kind of getting a David Lynch undercurrent maybe maybe that's just the wrong term to use but you know what shit's going on and it's just really weird people disappearing security guards you know going all psycho on students um there seems to be this mysterious vortex club which 
for all appearances, seems to be just a social club, but it sounds like there's something more to it. There's just lots and lots of really weird stuff going on. Anyway, let's just return this USB and, you know, get on with things. Because, man, so much going on. Oh, here we go. So pretty. Uh-huh. I guess the car park's down that way. Or the parking lot. Here we go. Squirrel! Okay, what's going on? I guess that's Warren down the end there. Okay. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Well, there you go. There's a sign. What's the sign say? What does the sign say? I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Okay. Yeah, probably should. Okay, have a look. Graffiti. Cars equals death. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Hmm. Bike, bike. Which bike? This bike. tp bike. Who toilet papers a bike? I don't know. Some loser. Not us. Can we just get angry and just rip one of these down or something? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Well, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, pile of MPP? What? Oh, Damn, missing person somebody posters. Somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Okay. The person with the truck. It's an old truck, so... Or ute, as we say in Australia. Um... T-W-N-R-K-S Town Wreckers Um Okay Doesn't seem to be anything exciting down that way Let's go back towards Juliet She seemed to be sitting down here Oh, let's have a look at this graffiti Look I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that Uh, hopefully fairly quickly I wonder whose car spot this is No car Retarded, nasty. nasty. I don't get nasty. it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? <sighs> look, we always look. Juliet still looks upset about Zach and Victoria. I don't blame her. Okay, let's have a chat. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Yeah. Sorry about Zach. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yeah. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. We'll be friends. I'll help you. Okay. Hey, Warren! Max, get your ass over here. Yeah, okay. Let's look. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Mm, why not? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Hey. No problem. Smooth recovery. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the yeah. wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Uh... No, we don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? 
Yeah. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. Ha -ha. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Uh, no fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um. I don't know. Let's go with this. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, oh, you should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Well, okay. yeah. Um. I don't know. Do we want to tell him or we don't want to talk about it? Look, he's our friend. We, as the audience, know that he probably has a thing for Max. So. He would likely try to help or be on her side, so let's talk to him. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean... Life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! Uh, told him the truth. Piss off. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. Your you should mind talk is breaking. to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. They're not doing a good Worry job. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Um... Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Yeah. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the now. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, oh, I got this! Oh god. Okay. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Okay. He's kind of lost it. Oh, you know, lost it a lot. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am oh, seriously glad to see you. Oh, and... Hey, thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Uh, hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Hmm, guess so. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. 
You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Yeah, I did. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. Yeah. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Yeah, you tell her. You need to... you know what? Get it together, Max. Oh, oh man, geez. are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Well. Welcome home, Max. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess we know who the... Person with the truckies. Alrighty. Oh wow. Okay. Alright, what to do, what to do. Um Alrighty, that's come on in, don't be shy. Try and the fix house still looks nice. Home shit home. Well, Oh wow. Okay. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. Yeah, what happened? It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Well. All right, uh, I think we'll let it go there um, and we'll get on with the rest of it next time. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Please like, subscribe, give me your theories and what you think is going on. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.